Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you can't tell, my hair is a little different. Honestly, I don't even know if it'll look different on camera, but <laughs> boy do I have a story for you. We will get into that. But I wanted to start off with a little bit of an announcement. So my announcement is that I am going to be doing a daily upload for every single day of October. This is actually an idea that I picked up off of a Facebook group that I'm in for small YouTubers and it's called YouTuber or Vlogtober, but I'm not going to be necessarily vlogging for every day of it. I might insert a couple of vlogs, but that won't be the majority of it. But either way, it's a daily upload for all 31 days of October. I'm going to try and do some Halloween looks, some Halloween costume ideas and stuff like that. And it might be a little bit difficult because it's the month of midterms for college too, so we'll have to just kind of wait and see. Maybe if there's a day that I don't upload, I'll just upload two the next day. I don't know. I'm sure that you guys will forgive me if I miss a couple of days. And then I wanted to say thank you guys so much for hitting 100 subscribers on my channel. And it's just growing and growing and I'm super excited about that. I'm hoping by the time that I get to 500 subscribers that I will be starting a monthly giveaway on my channel. Right now I'm still trying to pay off like my camera and my ring light and stuff like that. But after that, I really want to start giving back to you guys and saying thank you in more than just me saying it. I'm really excited that you guys are enjoying the content. And I look forward to connecting with you guys even further on my other social medias and on here. On for the story time. Like I said, my hair is different. I had a little bit of an adventure with my hair the past couple days. I was a redhead before as you knew, but I'm actually not a natural redhead. I'm a natural blonde. And about three months ago, I went into my local salon at Ulta, which Ulta Beauty does have a salon within their store. At least mine does, not all of them do. And what I got done was the Redken, or Redken Shays EQ Color Gloss, which is a semi-permanent hair color, or at least it's supposed to be. She said that it would wash out of my natural blonde color, which was a sort of golden caramely blonde. It wasn't super platinum or anything. I'll try and insert a picture right here or like over my face or something to show you what my blonde was and what we did is just put that over what I already had and it was supposed to wash out within a month but it didn't. It was pretty much ingrained into my hair which was virgin hair. It had never been colored before and so it was kind of understandable that it didn't end up washing out but I didn't mind the color of it. When I first got it done it was super vibrant red and it sort of faded into a very natural orangey red which I really love but I wanted to go back to my blonde. So a friend of mine, Rebecca, she's been in like previous videos or like in my Fenty Beauty Foundation vlog kind of thing. She's going to be going to cosmetology school, so I kind of was like, hey, do you want to maybe do highlights in my hair or something and see if we can get back to my blonde? So we went to Sally's Beauty Supply, got some cream lightener developer, whatever. I don't really know hair products that well, so we just got whatever the lady recommended at Sally's. didn't turn out very well. I don't have any pictures, I think, of what happened after that, but instead of highlights, I guess Rebecca decided to just kind of like lighten my whole hair, which okay. I didn't really care. I knew I was going to be going into the salon afterwards anyway. I kind of just made that agreement with myself, so I figured I'd let her play with my hair. But basically, she kind of missed all of my roots, so I had like orange hair from here down and like ready brown blonde in my roots and it just wasn't cute so i made an emergency appointment with my local ulta salon and i asked her if she could kind of color correct and get me somewhere near my natural blonde so she didn't really listen and i'm not going to mention a name or where my actual salon is because i don't want to you know make them lose business or anything and I also want to make clear that they actually did fix everything as you can see, but I'll get into that obviously. So the first lady that I went to, I said, hey, like this is what my natural blonde is like. I really would like to get back to that. And she of course had to deal with the issue with my hair that my friend had done. So what she was going to do is essentially bleach my entire head and then do a toner to try and get me back into that natural blonde that I was. But what ended up happening is she bleached my hair. And my roots ended up turning out wider than the rest of my hair, which I was kind of confused about because I went in with darker roots. I understand that there's a difference in how color lifts or whatever. 
I'm not a big hair person, like I said. So we tried one toner, and I was still, like, I was bleach platinum blonde. It did not look good on me because I'm not a natural platinum blonde. I had a much more dirty blonde, golden blonde, strawberry blonde, and I didn't want an ashy white blonde. So I said, okay, can we do another toner, like a little bit darker? So we did another one, and by then I was just like, you know what? My scalp literally burned. My hair was still white. I couldn't stand the smell of the toner anymore. So I was like, oh sure, you know, it's fine. I obviously didn't leave exactly happy. I mean, I still tipped her 20 bucks and everything. It was total $170 with the trim and the coloring and the tip, which isn't really terrible, but it was still $170 essentially for something I didn't want. And I'm going to insert a clip right now of me showing you guys my hair. Hey guys. So this is about 24 hours after getting my hair done. The first time. <laughs> Figured I would show you. My roots are gray. They are like a silver gray. But my actual hair is pretty much actually what I wanted. Like a golden blonde because that's what I naturally am. I'm a natural golden strawberry blonde and I feel like the ends definitely got there. But my roots are gray. So I don't know what color I'm going to end up being on Monday. I have my appointment to fix my hair on Monday. I'm praying that it goes well. I might just have to go like brunette or something. Because this just looks terrible on me. <laughs> I look like a budget Daenerys Targaryen. Love you. Bye. And so that same day, I actually went back into Ulta and I was gonna just find like a box dye of something. Like I found like a peachy pink blonde that I really liked and I was just gonna do that at home and I was gonna say fuck it, like I just can't do this white hair. Like I didn't even wanna go out in public, that's how bad it was. And the lady at the checkout at Ulta was like, no girl, your hair is going to fall out if you do a box dye after you've just had your hair bleached. So she showed me some purple shampoo from the brand Joico, and she said that if I used that a couple of times that it was going to help and make it not so yellow, but what ended up happening is it actually made my roots gray. So my roots were completely gray, and then the strands of my hair were yellow, were like a golden yellowy blonde, which was actually pretty close to what I wanted because that's what I was naturally. But it was all kinds of fucked. So I basically avoided going out <laughs> in public. So what I ended up doing is I called the salon and said, hey, like I'm really not happy with how this turned out and I really am upset that I paid that much money to get something that I don't even like and that I'll probably have to go to another salon to correct. So they said, well, what we can do is have you come in on Monday and fix it. So I got my hair done on a Friday. So I went and got my hair done on a Friday and they said that I could go in and get it fixed on Monday and it was at 4 o'clock today, which is Monday. So I didn't even go to school today because my hair was a fucking mess and I really was just avoiding going out anywhere the past couple days. And I actually asked for the lady who originally did my red hair a couple of months ago and she's actually the salon manager so that was actually really good because if they're doing a correction they'll either have the stylist that originally did your hair or the salon manager fix it. So I just chose her because I felt like she knew my hair a little bit better and I'm really happy with what happened. Um, basically what she did today is just did a caramely brown toner I think but I mean, I wasn't really paying attention. I think this is a toner that she did, not a like permanent dye, but a toner also might be a permanent dye, so I'm not really sure. You guys can help me in the comments figure out what it is, but essentially, in this lighting it doesn't look as brown, but it's like kind of like an ashy, yet still auburny brown, but it's light enough where it's like a dark blonde. It's a really confusing kind of color where like I and a couple of the stylists at Ulta were like, what? Is this color like what would we call this and so the stylist that did my hair took a picture she also has the original blonde that I had and the red that she did from a couple of months ago I really 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 do like her so I've just kind of learned my lesson that I will be going back to her from now on she kind of did like dye my face a little bit but it'll wash out so I don't really mind 
I really do like this new color for going into the fall. I actually want to go a little bit darker, maybe in December. I kind of want to go to a very, very dark and richer brown. So we'll kind of see if that ends up happening. I also like that I'm able to do my eyebrows a little bit bolder now. And I'm going to see, hopefully, maybe if I do a more bold eye makeup, it won't look as crazy now that I'm not like a lighter hair color. It might be easier for my hair to contrast. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm also not wearing that much makeup right now, I should have noted that, but I'm just wearing like mascara, concealer, and eyebrows. I'm not wearing any foundation or eye makeup, but I do really like how I look right now. I love this hair color. I'm super happy that the salon was able to correct everything and not totally ruin my hair in the process. It still feels really healthy. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel brittle. So I feel like this just goes to show if you're not happy with something, do not feel bad to complain like I was literally almost in tears on the phone when I was talking to the salon and being like hey I don't like this like I felt so bad because I didn't want to get like the lady who did my hair originally in trouble and I just felt bad because you know it's their job so I mean I kind of shouldn't have felt bad because she should have you know done it right the first time but I understand how bleaches are kind of testy and they don't always give the result that you want Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. I hope that maybe you learned something and maybe you learned that not all disasters are complete disasters and some of them can be definitely fixed if you go the right route. I'm really glad that I didn't end up doing a box dye because they ended up doing this whole fix and correction for free. I did end up tipping my stylist who did the correction for me as well because she did such a wonderful job and totally took care of me and I'm really happy with the results. Again, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. It means the absolute world to me, and I'm looking forward to just growing with you guys as a channel and subscribers, and I really look forward to connecting with you more. So anyways, if you like me or you like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.